What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Cooking Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Today, we're just going to continue with our career mode. It looks like we haven't played this since March. Has it really been that long, dude? It doesn't, it doesn't at all feel like it's been that long. So, having said that, I'm probably going to be a little rusty, but that's okay. Well, this is new. We have a choice to make here. We could continue classic mode, which is, I believe, what we have been playing, or there's also relaxed mode, a mode with unlimited order time for making the dishes. I, I'm kind of leaning more towards that because in the past when we've played this, like, I just, I just kind of freak out. Like, being timed trying to make food is very stressful. So maybe this will be a little bit more relaxed. And like a lot of the dishes we were trying to make were getting more and more difficult. I think I'm okay with this change. Did we make this? Did we attempt to prepare this dude? The meat's not even cooked, at least on the one side. I genuinely don't remember preparing that, but um, good news it didn't go out to a customer, so nobody died. Um, I think really quick, I'm just gonna go around and try to get everything cleaned and prepared for the day. And while I'm at it, try to remember how to play. What? How did that even happen, dude? I actually just spent a long time cleaning and then I remembered that the magic wand is a thing, and it will automatically clean the entire kitchen. So that was a complete and total waste of time, but we're finally ready. So I think we're going to skip the cleaning phase. We'll see what we actually need to do. Or first, we have to actually close out the day. I've got gotcha. you. Here we go. If I remember right, we're working on trying to get all of these skills sort of leveled up to, we'll call it tier two. So the next one is going to be this one. We'll go ahead and level that one up. Uh, cheaper recipes. What was that anyways? Cheaper products. 20% less. This will be 40% cheaper recipes. We'll upgrade that one. And then we have three more skill points available. Let's just go with cheaper repairs. That's fine by me. We have one extra skill point left. And now on to day 14. Okay, expecting a lot of orders for grilled tuna today. We have that. We've unlocked that recipe. And also a food critic in five hours. Okay, so we're still in the sort of like preparation phase of things. I don't remember how to make the soups. If I remember right, it's it's our best bet to just prepare or pre-prepare the soups. The only soup recipes we have available at the moment are the red pepper and tomato soup and then the Chinese egg drop soup. So let's just start by making these. We're gonna need 240 grams of red bell pepper. Is that just one Red bell pepper, okay, that's pretty easy. 120 of onion. Now we need two garlic cloves for 20 grams of garlic. 20 millimeters of olive oil. Right about there, 22 is fine, that works as well. I might have already ruined the soup because I didn't really realize this, but we're not supposed to put it in the pot yet. All of these things need to go like on a tray or on a plate or something like that. And then we actually have to just put them straight up in the oven. So I'm going to do that. We'll have to re-drizzle some olive oil onto the tray, but we should be good to go. Then we can add it all to this pot. Okay, the onion and the garlic appear to be pretty well cooked, but the red bell pepper, mm, not so much. I'm gonna take it out anyways. We'll put it down next to our little pot over here. Let's figure out what we need to do next. We are very, very quickly, I just tried to zoom in. We're very quickly running out of time here in our preparation phase, but that is A-OK. -okay. We just need some chicken broth, salt, pepper, chicken broth going in. I think this thing has like 800 milliliters inside of it, so we'll just go until 700. Okay, that's close enough. I'm happy with that. Then we have 100 left over. Next, we have 12 salts. 
and 12 pepper. Six grams of cayenne pepper. Oh no, we're open for business. I'm not ready. I, wait, 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 wait. I have to remember, we don't actually have a time limit. We've got three orders already for this same dish that I've never made before. But it's fine. We're gonna do great. So next up, okay, about dumped everything onto the floor. Next up, we need some tomatoes, but I don't remember how many of them. 840 grams, okay. Mental math is not exactly my strong suit. We need six more. All right, that should be plenty. What else do we need while we're over here? Nothing, by the looks of things. We just have to add in all the stuff. I keep trying to press shift to run, but that doesn't actually work. Um, we need to add all of these things. I guess we probably shouldn't have set that down just yet. We need you and you and the onion. Perfect. Okay, we should be ready to start blending here. Again, with the shift, it's okay. We first just need to boil for 60 seconds, blend, and then add our sour cream. Let's just get our sour cream now, then. That's probably been 60 seconds, right? Surely. Okay, how do we go down? Move down with Q. There it is. All right, get that all nice and blended together. Beautiful. Now we can drop that on the ground and then add our sour cream. 150. Oh, I can't see the little red dots. 150. There it is. Of this. And this actually has 90 in it, so we can just dump the whole thing. That is going in the trash. On to the next. I think that's it. Now we can just sort of set it off to the side here and use our ladle to scoop some out. It does still need to be garnished with a basil leaf. Looks like 12 grams of that, so... Hopefully I'll remember to do that, but honestly, we're going to just have gone through the entirety of that recipe, and I don't think we're ever actually going to serve that today, judging by our only three orders being the exact same tuna dish. I love seafood. I really do, but tuna is probably my least favorite fish, if I'm being honest. Take tuna, 200 grams, season, uh, grill and then transfer to a plate. Oh, it's not even that difficult, dude. It's just a light searing. Tuna's probably gonna be in the refrigerator, right? Somewhere around here. Top shelf, middle shelf, middle shelf. So just one tuna filet. We'll get that put on our little cutting board here. Now, just to season it with five grams of salt and what was it? Five grams of black pepper. When it says grill, does it mean this grill? Does it mean this grill? I would call that a grill. Or can we, like, sear it in the pan? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably this one. That seems the most like a grill out of all the different appliances we have in here. So we have to do this three times. We need three of these. Oh, I keep opening the wrong door. All right, let's grab you. Place you on the cutting board. We're gonna have to get another one. And then it's gonna stack them, but that's, that's cool. Check on this guy over here. How long was it on each side? 80 seconds. I probably should have set a, uh, a timer for this, but we'll go until it's like halfway and then maybe we can just flip it. Oh, we've already got a spatula over here, dude. Perfect. Okay, we'll pick you up. And then how do we flip again? Just like this and rotate. Beautiful work, dude. The other tunas are seasoned and going on the grill. Should we just leave this one? Do we take it off? I don't know what to do here. The temperature is really high on that one, so maybe we do just remove it. Let's go ahead and grab a plate. We'll start transferring them to plates once they finish grilling. Hey, that one doesn't look too bad, right? This one's gotta get flipped. Click on that and rotate. Beautiful work, as always. Same thing with this one. Oh no, it's gonna try to stack them. We've gotta try to move it over there. All right, let's take our done one over here because it's a little loud over by the grill. And then cut a lemon, 80 grams, into quarters of 20 grams. Okay, transfer onto the plate and then garnish with an oregano twig. 
Where are the limones? All right, now quarters. Quarters, quarters, quarters. Let's rotate the knife this away. Uh, we're gonna hold shift for steady hands, cut it down the middle, and then we'll do it this way, also down the middle, just a different axis. That's quarters, right? Yeah, they're about 20 grams. Perfect. Okay, I think that's actually nicely done. Let's grab two more plates. We'll get those other tunas off. I love how I'm still kind of rushing, even though I know we don't need to because there's no time limit, but it's just kind of a habit, I think, at this point. Grab the other one off the grill and make sure we turn that thing off, too, so it doesn't, like, start on fire or something stupid. This might be the first time I've ever prepared three dishes at the same time. Why? Why, dude? That was so stupid. That was so dumb. I just need to be more careful. Maybe I should have upgraded to the unbreakable plates. That probably would have been helpful. Now we've just got ceramic. I'm sure that's probably what this plate is on the ground. Not ideal. Not ideal. Bit of a safety hazard. You know, contrary to popular belief, I am actually a gourmet chef in real life. For instance, today I went to my freezer and I grabbed some chicken nuggets, threw those bad boy billies into the air fryer, and they were ready in like less than 15 minutes. It was honestly beautiful. That is actually what I had for lunch today. It was quite delicious. But anyways, uh, garnish with oregano twig. Oregano. So we need two of those. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. Dude, this dish is beautiful. Doesn't really compare to the to the icon of it, but it's pretty solid. Okay, as long as those two stay up here, we should be good. Do we even serve the one, or should we just serve them all three at the same time? Oh, red pepper and tomato soup. I didn't even notice that. Nearly five stars on everything, you guys. That's pretty dang solid. I am happy about that. Okay, but we've got two more to go, so let's grab two more limones. And we'll get these chopped up into quarters as well. What happened to my limon? You've just gone down there now. That's cool. Maybe not as good as my first attempt. I don't think these quarters are exactly quarters. But it'll work just fine. Once again, making our way to the order station. We can get this one served up as well. We'll see what we're going to get on this. Again, just shy. Just shy of five stars on everything that's gonna give us a little bit of a fame boost though oh god another new order dude i can't keep up wait i can keep up there's no time limit we're fine those those have to be perfect quarters they're close they're close enough oregano what the heck's on the ground over here what are we dropping dude i must have forgot to clean some stuff up or maybe the magic wand doesn't clean up um like food that's on the ground that Makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Probably just shy of five stars once again. This is the worst of the three. Probably because it's a little bit colder than the rest. But a job well done, nonetheless. So let's see what we have next. Salmon with asparagus, and then the red pepper and tomato soup. So, let's see what our garnish was. Basil garnish for 12 grams. Okay, maybe just one basil leaf, I'm not really sure. We need a bowl. Let's grab us a bowl from under here small plates deep plate that is the one we about broke it on the way up but we're good grab our ladle and this is 150 mil each time so we just need to fill that once and one mo again there she be now for our basil pick up the whole bowl come on back over to our little uh in kitchen garden whatever you want to call this was it 12 Four of them, really? That seems weird. Just doesn't really look normal. But let's serve it up. We'll see what the customer has to say about it, I suppose. Probably gonna be phenomenal. The taste! The taste is not performing as expected. I think we're alright, though. I think we're alright. The food we served was not that bad. Cool. Not that bad. It went to the derper, dude. It went to the food critic. Unbelievable. Well, let's continue on with the salmon filet. The salmon with asparagus. First, just need to grab us a nice salmon filet. Apply five grams of salt and five grams of pepper. Looks like we're going to be frying this thing for 60 seconds on each side. 
So we'll plop this in the pan. Now for the asparagus, we're gonna need a thousand milliliters of water in this pot over here. So we've just gotta start filling this thing up. By the time it's finished, we should be able to flip our salmon. There we be. And then we need to salt the absolute bejesus out of that thing, don't we? All right, salmon is probably ready to be flipped. There we are, and flip. Beautiful, look at that, dude. Your boys still got it. Yeah, 20 grams of salt and then 80 grams of asparagus. Oh no, we've lost our box. Okay, things are not exactly running smoothly. There's gotta be a faster way to do this. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Okay, there's 80 Gs. We are golden. Let's get that back up on the stove. I would say the salmon is probably close-ish to done, so we'll just go ahead and remove it. And then we need to drizzle five milliliters of limon juice. That's gonna be this guy. Just barely anything at all. Okay, the salmon looks rather tainted now, but I'm sure it's probably just as good. Now we just have to wait for the asparagus to finish cooking and we can continue on to the baked trout. Starting off by just simply grabbing a trout out of the refrigerator. This needs five grams of black pepper, five grams of dried thyme, and five grams of dried dill. Looks like our asparagus is done. Oh no, dude, the, the lemon juice bottle. The lemon juice bottle is tipped over. Gotta get that set up properly. There we go. Okay, this looks absolutely awful. Actually, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take a little picture of this. Let's just serve the dang dish, dude. Who needs a thumbnail, right? We can always worry about that well after the fact. That's actually a surprisingly good dish. Okay, kind of knocked that one out of the park, although it did look very much tainted and or poisoned, but... Obviously, the customer did not care. We've got another new order. Now we just have to place this trout on a baking tray and bake it for 90 seconds, I believe is what it said. So that's going right on in there. Crank her on, perfect. That was sloppy. That was sloppy. I'm not, I'm not happy about that one. We'll grab a plate. Alrighty, looks like it is ready. We'll transfer that over to the plates. Okay, we're gonna have to turn that off as well. And now for our lemon quarters. Just select all of them, load them all up onto the plate at once, and then six grams of parsley. That is gonna be right over here somewhere, this guy. Perfect, all right, all the way over to here, and we've done it, yet again. All right, next is gonna be steak and fries, but how'd we do on this? Ooh, not good taste. I forgot the horseradish. I know exactly what I did, and it's... I forgot the horseradish. Unbelievable. Well, it's okay. This one is gonna give us more fame, or is that for a food critic? I think that's just fame. We'll grab our steak. It's gonna be this guy right here. 220 Gs. Place it on our cutting board. Next, four grams of salt. Oh no, our salt is out. I need to buy another salt. That's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Spices. Only two coins, that is stupid cheap. Okay, so we've got one gram of salt on there right now. Just three more, right? Wasn't it four grams of salt and then four grams of black pepper. Now we're gonna fry each side for just 45 seconds. Not very long at all. Now 300 grams of potato for the french fries. That'll be just two potatoes. I remember this one tripping me up a lot. It says season the two potatoes with six grams of salt. But since there are two of them, I think we do it like three and three, right? That would probably make the most sense because then the salt is even across all of them. And we need to cut these potatoes into 15 gram pieces. I don't remember how to do this. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do, we don't use this at all. We're actually gonna take these taters, dump them into, or it was this guy, it was this guy, not the food processor. We're not trying to like puree these potatoes, that would be, Actually, would that be gross? Is there, no, that's just like mashed potatoes, right? Well, kind of, it probably wouldn't come out the same. Anywho, let's grab our steak. Not the best cooking, but it is cooked, sort of. And now those are cut, but they're not cooked. So what do we need to do with those? Deep fry for 30 seconds. Those are roughly 15 gram pieces, so that should be perfect for us. 
We've got this little basket over here. Let's turn the heat on. Let's fill the whole thing up with oil. There we be. Now we just got to take this and dump it into our basket right here. Actually, there's a safer way to do this, isn't there? Let's grab our basket, select all them taters, and now we can just place the basket in there. Much, much more simple. I'm ready. All right. There they are. All coming out at the same time. Beautiful work. Okay, some of them may end up falling off the plate, but that's okay. We just need 10 grams of rosemary now. So that would be just two of those. Come all the way back over here. We've done it, dude. None of them fell off. See, look how good their fries look and then compare them to ours. We have like potato wedges. They made proper French fries. We're doing pretty good though. Exam passed, we did it. Just wait till people start banging at our door. New fame level, dude, killing it. Check this out. Now we've got four stars. We are officially a four star restaurant. That's that's kind of a big deal, you know, kind of a big deal. Okay, this Dunkel's barbecue chicken, every time I've tried to prepare that dish, it just never goes well. So I'm gonna skip it and we're gonna move on to a grilled tuna steak once again. We've already done this one three times. This will be the fourth time making this dish. Um, but we're still gonna make the same mistakes. A few moments later. Once again, the little picture looks a lot better than what we've prepared, but it's all good. We're probably still gonna get a decent score for this. Guess we'll have to wait and see. That is not good at all. That is very much not good. What did I what did I do wrong, dude? Okay, well the recipe's gone already. Did I like forget to season it or something? Anywho, as I mentioned, we're just gonna completely skip over the, the Dunkel's barbecue chicken because it's an awful recipe. And with that, I think that's where we're gonna wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Peace.